Changes are coming to the FAFSA beginning October 1st, 2022 for the award year 23-24. The FAFSA will have fewer questions, making it easier to complete. The term EFC or expected family contribution will no longer be used. In place of it will be SAI or student aid index. A new formula will be used to make more students eligible for a Pell Grant. Dependent students living with two-parent families will be eligible for a maximum Pell Grant if their family's income is 175% of the federal poverty level or lower. Dependent students living in a single-parent household will be eligible for a maximum Pell Grant if their family income is 225% of the federal poverty level or lower. More students will also be eligible for a partial Pell Grant. Dependent students whose parents are divorced will now report the financial information of the parent who provides the most financial support. For families with two students in college, the EFC slash SAI will no longer be split in two. So, you know, as you can see here, there are about to be some major changes um, approaching when you go to fill out your financial aid. And I'm going to tell you every excuse that you have had up until this point, all this bull crap that these men are saying about you online about not going to school and not uh, diving into your education. Well, guess what? Financial aid is literally making things a whole lot easier for you to jump right into these classes, jump right into these medical programs, these STEM programs. You can head right on down to the community college, you know, come Monday and get to get to filling out some stuff because black women, this is a sign like I don't understand if you all can under, you know, really understand how excited I am to even make a video about this because for so long, you know, um, for so many black women, you know, there have been so many obstacles about, you know, why they can't get enough financial aid or, you know, why can't you get the, the, the full refund and you're worried and scared about taking out these loans. Well, sis. This right here is a sign from God, and I really hope that you all take this video as a freaking sign to go handle your business come Monday. You need to be calling up to these schools, the community colleges. Um, if you, you know, uh, wanted to take a break from university, well, guess what, sis? When you get off of that break from university, you know, being at the university because maybe you need to uh, take a mental break, Financial aid is waiting for you and they're literally making things a whole lot easier for you. You don't have to put in as much information, um, you know, as far as your household income. I mean, this is literally almost a handout. I mean, they're making it so freaking easy. So I'm going to tell you all right now, you all can continue listening to these low average ass, no education, having low value men on YouTube and allow them to stagnate your mindset about getting your education or even getting some type of uh, degree or going to the community college to get a certification. You can keep listening to these men all you want to, but financial aid is, I mean, I've never seen financial aid do this. I mean, there are, these changes are going to be so beneficial. Um, to so many uh, incoming students and undergrad students, um, you black women who want to go to medical school, you know, you're you're stagnant and going back and forth, pacing back and forth, whether or not you want to go to school to become a doctor, um, you need to hop on this. You know, because again, this is a really great opportunity. So if I were you um, and you are currently enrolled in school, you need to be going to financial aid or talk to an advisor about everything that you need to know that comes with this new information um, with the FAFSA changes because, um, you know, hop on this, hop on this, make sure that you get all your information, make sure that you talk to somebody up at that school, um, and also do your research. But this video, uh, on TikTok pretty much sums it up. And also I'm going to give you the information. This white woman that you see on the video, her entire channel is dedicated to giving financial aid information to community colleges um, as well as universities, I believe. But she's literally a um, financial aid uh, a person at the community college that she works at. So this woman has all type of information and this woman tells the truth, okay? This white woman tells the truth. She goes into depth talking about how, you know... Um, 
a lot of medical programs at the community colleges such as CNAs, you know, uh, try to gravitate more black female students um, because of certain biases. I mean, th this is all information that you all need to know. So if you're on TikTok, um, I highly suggest that you go and follow her page because she has a ton of information about financial aid and these programs and things like that. But I'm going to tell you, this is definitely going to be a blessing in disguise for a lot of black women, um, you know, trying to get a higher education. Um, don't play around with this and do not miss this opportunity, you know, because I mean, now I don't know how long these changes are going to last. But either way it goes, you know, these are the changes that are coming and it's it's going to be in your favor. It's going to be in your favor. So, you know, while there are still, unfortunately, some black women on YouTube running to uh, Kitten Heels channel and listening to this buffoonery um, and sit up there listening to a man that has lied about even having his current degree and also his work history, um you know, on his LinkedIn while they're sitting up there listening to that buffoonery and coonery that he's spitting out of his mouth, you know, they're missing opportunities like this. These women who are giving in to this buffoonery and coonery, even with a lot of these other channels um, made by other black women telling you not to go to school and not and not to do just anything, not to have any type of backup plan. These are the type of women that are going to be missing out on these opportunities. Okay, so. You know, I'm putting this information out there so that you can be aware of the new financial aid changes. Um, so please, please, please take advantage. Um, ask your school counselors about it. Go to the financial aid office if you're able to go on campus um, and get more information. So ladies, I want to thank you again for taking the time to listen to this video. And please, if you can, um, share this video to other platforms for like-minded black women because um, I really want to get the, the <laughs> these educational aspects out um, into these spaces. Um, like this video, share this video, um, share it on different platforms because... This particular video, um, I really believe it's going to help a lot of black women. Um, so again, thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.